Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to a new class. My name is Javier Gomez, and this is English Corporativo, and it's a four, of course, right? Giving, saying you, telling you, sorry. Welcome to a new class, right? Okay, I hope you're okay. I hope you had a good Tuesday, right? And I hope everything is okay with you, right? Okay, now we're going to start. Sharing the material immediately, right? Well, yesterday we were learning about the present continuous, how to use the present continuous, right? So we're going to make a little review about the present continuous again, right? Well, one of the uses of the present continuous is to describe what you're doing in the moment, right? Other use of the present continuous is to describe the future, right? So, if we have some actions, right, in using uh, present continuous or using present present participle is a uh, Los verbos en presente participe, right? The ones that have ing. So we have eating, drinking, cooking, reading, studying, teaching, singing, sleeping, swimming, planting, Watching TV, listening to music, playing cars, playing baseball, playing the piano, playing the capirucho. I don't know. Sorry, excuse me. Capirucho, no, right? Okay. Well, so th this is ING, right? Now, uh, here we have some examples, right, of the use of the present continuous. What are you doing? This is, I'm reading. What are you doing? We're cooking. What are Mary and Fred doing? Ah, Mary and Fred are studying. English, of course. They are studying English, right? Okay. What's Tom doing? Tom, well, he's eating. Yes, look, Tom is eating. What's Marta doing? Uh, she's watching TV. What's your dog do doing? Sorry, what's your dog doing? Uh, it's sleeping. The dog is sleeping, right? Okay. These are some examples, right, of the use of the present continuous. Describing some action, right? Okay. Do you have questions about this? Uh, no questions. Continue. Yes. Okay. Continue. Then we were practicing some sentences here right yesterday. Right? Especially the rules how to form the present participle, right? How to form the present participle. For example, uh, the most common rule is that you add ing to the verb. So it says talk, talking, right? Read, reading. Watch, watching. Make, making. In the case of make, right, it ends, it ends in e. So for that reason, uh, we eliminate the E, right? And then we are ING. The same happens with take and come. The rule number says that you eliminate the E and then you are ING, right? Okay, good. Then uh, the rule number three says that if you have a, a double consonant, no, no, sorry. A consonant, vowel consonant, sorry, a verb, 
like in the case of get, uh, you double the last consonant, right? In this case of get, you double T, so it's a TT, and then you add ING, get it, right? Okay? Good. The same happened with run. R, U, N. Ah, two consonants and one vowel at the, uh, in the middle, right? So you said running, R, U, N. And then you double the N and then I, N, G, right? Okay, good. Then the same happened with shop, with cut, with drop, another verb, right? Good. These are the rules, right, for the present participle. And the present participles are the form, the verbal form we use for the present continuum, right? Also, the present participle are used for, for future, future continuous, and past continuous too, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we were practicing some conversations, right? How to make yes, no question. So are you eating right now? You don't say, yes, I eating, I eating. <laughs> no, no, no. Yes, I am. Is she taking the bus? Yes, she is. No, she's not. Is it raining? Yes, it is. Oh, no, it is not. Are they walking? Yes, they are. Oh, no, they're not, right? Okay. Then we were working with these questions yesterday. And we finished with it, right? A conversation. Then we're going to start practicing this conversation again. Yesterday we practiced, but today we're going to continue practicing with this, right? Let me see. Look at the picture. It says, where's Walter? Oh, he's in the kitchen. What's he doing? He's eating breakfast. Yes. Cereal, milk, you know. In El Salvador, normally we have uh, platanitos, cremita, frijolito, right? But no. In the United States, normally they have cereal. And milk, right? Okay, good. Now, we're going to practice again this conversation. And I will make the question to Maria del Carmen Recinos. Ready, Maria? Okay. It's ready, teacher. Now, the questions are going to be no about Walter. No, 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 no. The questions are going to be about Karen, right? We made this yesterday, Maria. Esto lo hicimos ayer, right? Again, repetition. Uh, Maria, where is Karen? Um, where is Karen? Um, I am. No, no, no. She is. She is. No logro ver. Um, okay, let me see. <laughs> Wait a minute. And now? Yes. Okay, give me a second. Vamos a hacer grande topic. Yes. <laughs> no, no, no. Sorry, this is not right. No, it, it, sorry, it, me equivoco. No. Eso. <laughs> no. Qué oso, qué oso, María. Okay. Ah, where is Karen? Ah, uh, she park. She is? She is park. In? In park. The park. The, the park. Ah, uh, again. Okay. Eh, Maria, where is Karen? She is the in, in the park. She's in the park. In and, the park. And in the park. what is she doing? Um, she is in the eating lunch. She is eating? Eating lunch. She is eating lunch, correct. Thank you very much, right? Now let's right. go to the second one. This is a uh, Mr. and Miss and Mrs. Clark, right? Kenya, hello, welcome, Kenya. Can you see the good evening, teacher? Good evening, good evening. 
Can you see the picture? Mm -hmm. Mr. and Mrs. Clark, can you see? Yes, okay, good. Yes. Now, the question is, Kenya, where are Mr. and Mrs. Clark? Eh, no estoy muy segura porque ayer no presté mucha atención a la clase, pero creo que sería our... They are? Dining room. They are? They are dining room. In the dining room. Again? Kenya, where, is, where are Mr. and Mrs. Clark? They are in the dining room. Okay. In the dinner, let me see, dining, no, dining room, right? Yes, dining room. Dining yeah. room. Mm -hmm. Ah, dining room. Let me see. Sorry, I, 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 you made me doubt, right? Ya me hizo dudar. No, because dining. it's dinner dining. and dining, dining, dining. room, uh, dining room. Yes, but let me see. Okay. San Google knows. This is uh, I have a, a laguna in this moment. <laughs> Can you... <laughs> okay. Uh, pronunciation. Pronunciation. San Google knows, right? Okay. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Dining is dining room. Dining. Mm -hmm. Dinner. Dining, room. dining. Right. Dining room. Dinner. Dining room. Dinner is the food, right? Dinner. And dining is the name of the of the of the room, right? Good. And Kenya, what are they doing? They are eating dinner. Correct. Yes. Good. <laughs> <laughs> no, you did very, very well, Kenya. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, this is for for Evelyn. Hello, Evelyn. Ready for the class? Can I make this question, Evelyn? Okay. Apparently, she's not ready. Uh, we're going to start with Moises. El Salvador. Oh, Moises, excuse me. El Salvador, yeah. El, el modo yeah. patriótico, teacher. I know. Oh, yes. Very good. So, Moises, uh, this question is for you, right? Look. Where are you? <clears throat> I am in the bedroom. Okay. And tell me, what are you doing? Um, I am, I am doing, I am doing the, the prime guitar. No, I am playing. I am play. No, I play, am no, playing. play, no, no, playing. I am playing the guitar. Correct. I am playing the guitar, right? The guitar. Estoy jugando con la guitarra. Estoy no, tocando. no, 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 tocando. Yes, yes. Playing, playing. has two, two meanings. Jugar. Tocar mm -hmm. is it's two minutes, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay, Thank good. You. Now, I guess you can see right now. Let's go to the next one, right? Let me see who's going to help me tonight. Uh, Brenda, are you ready, Brenda? Brenda Elizabeth Mejia Perez, are you ready? 10 4, 10 4. Do you copy? Do you copy, Brenda? Okay, so Maria Rene. Ready, Maria Rene? Are you ready? Okay, this question is for you, Maria Rene. Look at the picture here, right? It's Gary and Jane, right? Jar. And the action is playing baseball. Maria Rene, where are Gary and Jane? They are in the yard. Excellent. Also, and what are they doing? They are playing baseball. They are playing baseball. My goodness. Congratulations. Yes, it's true. It's totally true, right? Thank you. Now, let me see. I'm going to make the question to Jonathan, right? Hello, Jonathan. Are you ready, Jonathan? Hello, teacher. Hello, welcome. 
Okay, Jonathan, I will make questions about you and two persons playing car, right? Ustedes, yes? Okay, Jonathan. Okay. Where are you? <clears throat> uh, you're... In this case, it would be we are... We. Uh -huh, because it's ustedes, right? Ustedes. So you say nosotros. Where are you? ¿Dónde están ustedes? Mm -hmm. Oh, we are in the living room. Correct. And what are you doing? We are playing cards. Correct. My goodness. Congratulations. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, then Alexi. Hello, Alexi. Mr. Caballero, Caballero. Ready for the action, Alexi? Ready to practice real English? Mr. Caballero, ready? Okay, well, Alexi is not ready. Elsa, please. Hello, Elsa is always ready. Yes, I know. Can you help me, Elsa? Okay, teacher. Yes. Now, let's talk about Miss Baker. Miss Baker. <laughs> La señora panadera, you know. Miss Baker, right? Um, Elsa, where is Miss Baker? She, she's in cafeteria. cafeteria. Sorry, perdón por la interrupción, Elsa. Eh, les he hecho muy chiquito los dibujos, o lo alcanza a ver, Elsa. Es que cuando Está en un teléfono. momento se, ajá, se, se, se pone una bandita que, que está todas las opciones. Entonces hay que tocarlo para... Ah, sí está mucho mejor. Ah, ok. O si no, ¿sabe qué? Me voy a escapar de la presentación y se la voy a hacer más grande aquí. para que... Creo que por ahí, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes, yes ok, good. Now, again, repeat. Eh, Elsa, where is Miss Baker? She's in cafeteria. She's in the cafeteria, right. And what is she doing? She's drinking milk. Correct. Excelentoso, Elsa. Okay, let's go to the next one, right? Hello, Wilmer. Welcome to the class. Ready? Hello, teacher. Hello. Welcome. We miss you, right? Lo habíamos extrañado, Wilmer. But here you are, right? Aquí está con todos los poderes ya. <laughs> okay. Now, we're making a conversation, Wilmer. I will make the question and you make the answer, right? Okay. Excuse me, Wilmer. Where are... Okay, give me a second here. Where are you? ¿Dónde están ustedes, right? Where are you? Where are you? We are uh -huh. uh, in the library. In the library. In the library. We are in the library, right? Okay, and what are you doing? We are studying English. Of course, studying English is the best, right? Thank you. Thank you very much, Wilmer. Good. Now let's go to the next one, Miss Johnson. You know, Johnson in Spanish is John y Juan, right? And Son is hijo. So what is the meaning of this? Johnson is el hijo de Juan, right? Johnson, hijo de, de Juan, right? Yes or no? Huh? Yes. It is funny, right? It's divertido los nombres en Ah, uh, yes. También había un presidente que se llamaba así, miren. Jorge Arbusto. Así se llamaba el presidente de Estados Unidos. Y en inglés era George Bush. Jorge Arbusto. <laughs> yes. Interesting, right? In El Salvador also we have, for example, Poca Sangre. It's a very common name. Es un apellido bien común, right? Also Pan y Agua. Pan y Agua. Paniagua, right? 
mar y sol. Marisol, right? Yes or no? Interesting, right? The names. Okay. But let's practice this. Let me see. Mateo, can you help me, Mateo? With Miss Johnson. Okay. Miss Johnson, right? We'll make the question and you go the answer. Right? Excuse me, Mateo. Where is Miss Johnson? Uh, he is ¿Sí? in the classroom. Sí. Uh, she is in the classroom. And what is she doing, Mateo? He is teaching mathematics. Mathematics, mathematics. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, right? Now let's go to the last one. Let's go to the last one. This is Marvin, right? Oh, Marvin. Okay, let's see what happened with Marvin, right? Uh, Ingrid, hello, Ingrid. Welcome. Oh, we're ready, right, Ingrid? Nice. So I will make the question hello. about, hello, hello. Yeah. I will make this question about Marvin, right, Ingrid? Uh, Ingrid, where is Marvin? He is, he is the bathroom. In the bathroom, right? He is in the bathroom, okay. Permítame. He is in the bathroom. Este, let me see. Vamos a hacer algo aquí, ¿verdad? Porque um, puede ser aquí. Permítame un segundito. Vamos a hacer algo. Yes. Ok. Very good. Vamos a tapar aquí para que nadie lo vea a Marvin, ¿verdad? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> ok. Good. Let's continue, right? And uh, Ingrid. What is Marvin doing? He he is he sing singing. He is he is singing. He is singing. Yes. Some people like to sing in the bathroom, right? Lo, 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 lo. Grabe la penca de un maguey. So people like to sing, right? Yes. Okay, good. This is the case of Marvin, right? Okay, class. Now, let's continue with the presentation. But before to continue, we're going to take the attendance. Ooh, ya no pasamos 20 minutos, right? So I will take the attendance, but before I have some messages here, vamos a ver cómo está la mensajería aquí. Veamos. Eh, René Alexis, el otro teacher estará leyendo. Ah, ok, Alexis. Ni modo, ¿verdad? No, no puede participar Alexis. Eh, René Alexis Caballero. Ah, por eso no me contestaba, no podía, ¿verdad? No problem, Alexis. Alexis from Grupo Miguel. And then we have Wilfredo. En 20 minutos llego a la casa. Wilfredo Renderos. Le llevo semita a todos los del grupo. Ah, ok. Thank you, Wilfredo. Nice. Good. Eh, solo una pregunta para Wilfredo. No sé si es de, de la mieluda o de la... Ayúdame a vivir. No sabemos. Va, pero... <ríe> Él nos va a traer semita. Ahí. Wilfredo. La de tacón oye. alto, eh. Ajá. Uh Ajá. -huh. <ríe> Ok. La pachita, ahora más mieluda. Hay una de guayaba, ¿verdad, Moisés? Buenísimo. De piña, de guayaba, Ajá, de no. varias frutas, hay de manzana. Ya, yeah, excelentoso, bien sabedor, ¿verdad? Experto, comedor de semita, Moisés. En okay. realidad es el único pan que, que consumo es la semita, pachita, porque eh, en el café amargo y los dulces de la semita. Sí, rico, sabe. Bueno, luego tengo a Brenda, dice, hello teacher. Estaré de diente. Ah, va en el tráfico, Brenda. Bueno, lo siento, Brenda. Y eso que no es viernes. Está traficoso. Ok, otro mensaje dice, no, no podré participar, teacher. Ah, Alexi, sí. Ya me había dicho Alexi, ¿verdad? Y luego eh, tenemos a Enrique. Está trabajando. Ay, no trabaje tanto, Enrique. Véngase a la clase. 
ya no. Ayúdenos aquí a la clase, Enrique. <ríe> ok, Enrique trabajando. Le vamos a poner de listener. Y tengo aquí un mensaje también en el grupo. Veamos. ¿Cómo estamos ahí? Dice Vázquez. Teacher, se está yendo la energía eléctrica por las lluvias. o oh. El vecino me pasa la electricidad. Ah, no. <risa> no, ¿verdad? Eh, sí, hay mucha lluvia. Solo que es Guava Vázquez. Veamos. ¿Quién ha pedido Guava? William Antonio, ¿verdad? Sí, William Antonio Vázquez es. Bueno, William, no hay problema. Eh, si se va la luz, pues entiendo. Si no, pues aquí lo voy a poner de oyente. Pero déjeme ver si, si William se ha conectado. No, Wilmer sí se ha conectado ahora, ¿verdad, Wilmer? Pero William no se ha podido conectar. Se perdió, ¿verdad? Entonces, por la lluvia no, no va a poder, dice Wilmer. Eh, perdón, William, William. Eh, y luego tengo el último permiso. Permítame, van a disculpar que tanto he eh, estado en el trabajo. Muy bien. Ah, Jessica. Hello, Jessica. Jessica, eh, Carolina. Bueno, no va a poder participar tampoco este día, pero bien. Ahí estamos. Los demás vamos a pasar el listado, chicos. Ready? Ok, Ada. Present. Welcome. Eh, Brenda Lee. Mis nieto Elías. No, ok. Eh, Carlos. Mr. Carpio, from San Miguel. Ok, Francisco. Hay puesto un cartel que dice oyente, Francisco, ¿verdad? Bueno. Ok, eh, Delia. Present teacher. Very good. Siempre el, al pie del cañón, ¿verdad, Delia? Excelentoso. <risa> Elsa. Present teacher. Thank you, Erenia. Present. Hello, Aquí Erenia. también está lloviendo. Está lloviendo. Uy, no, hombre. Este, ah, cuando llueve a veces falla el internet. Sí, yo entiendo. Eh, San Miguel, ¿verdad? Sí. Bueno, quizás pero no, ha, no se ha conectado Carlos, quizás. Bueno, qué galán, porque aquí hace un gran calor en San Salvador, Erenia. Por lo menos ahí tiene frescura. <ríe> Ok, Evelyn. Present teacher. Hello. Eh, ¿Va a poder participar, Evelyn? Eh, en la medida de lo posible, porque okay, aún Bien, sigo mal de salud. Oh, sorry. To sí. hear that, right? Bueno, eh, yo le voy a preguntar. Si no me contesta, entiendo que, ¿verdad? No se siente tan bien. Le voy a poner... Ok, si tiene una pregunta por ahí, me gustaría que más adelante la pudiéramos. Sí, sí, al pasar la asistencia. Eh, okay. Freddy, Freddy. Ingrid. Present teacher. Welcome, Ingrid. Eh, Jessica Ara Araceli. Ahí nos ponen el chat, Jessica. Pero ya la vi que ahí está en la de oyente, ¿verdad? Jessica Carolina no se va a poder presentar ahora. Jonathan. Jonathan. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Kenia. Present. María. Present teacher. María René. Present. Mateo. Present. Moisés. Present. William, que dijo que no se puede presentar ahora, ¿verdad? Por la lluvia. Y Wilmer. Wilmer. Hello, hello, Wilmer. Bueno, pero ya participó y todo, ¿verdad? Eh, yes, thank you, Jessica Araceli. Ok, good, ya le tomo una asistencia. Mm -hmm. Aquí estamos. Sí. Ok, now... Eh, Estoy aquí de oyente, teacher. 
Ah, Enrique. Yes, Enrique, ya lo, ya lo noté de oyente, no se preocupe, aquí está ya la asistencia. Y ya en Zoom, pues ya queda registrado, no se preocupe, ahí estamos. A mí me avisa si, si llega tiempo a su casa para tomarlo en cuenta, ¿ok? Ok, yes. thank you. Ok, good, no problem. Y también a Brenda, a Francisco, a, y a Alexi, a Wilfredo. Todos de oyente, ¿ok? Good. Now, let's continue with the presentation. Let's continue with the class, right? Continue with the uh, present continue. Evelyn, uh, your question? Sí, este, cuando las preguntas, o mejor dicho, cuando las... Por ejemplo, eh, la, en, el, en el manual, en la unidad 3, en la página mm -hmm. 30, dice, José is receiving the new worker tomorrow. No entiendo la traducción. Usted está recibiendo a los nuevos trabajadores mañana. Uh -huh. La conjugación yes. verbal no me queda muy clara. José receiving. Well, Let, let's copy the, the, the question, the, the sentence for the class. Let me see. Okay, I suppose uh, Jose is a manager, right? Or supervisor or something, right? No, pero la conjugación, recibiendo los trabajadores mañana, eso es lo que no me queda claro. Receive. Jose is receiving the, the new workers, workers tomorrow. New workers tomorrow, right? Okay. Uh, talking about this, Evelyn, today I will show you how to use the present continuous, but look at this, pay attention, future events, future events. So in other words, we can use the present continuous to talk about the future. So here, tomorrow is future, yes? So it's possible. Look at this other example, uh, Evelyn, I am buying shoes tomorrow. So the action will be developed in the future. And then in, in the case of Jose, Jose is receiving the new workers. Suppose today is Tuesday, right? Jose is receiving the worker, is say, saying welcome to the workers on Wednesday, the next day, right? In the future. Understand, Evelyn? Básicamente sería José estará recibiendo los ah, nuevos trabajadores right. mañana. Yeah. O recibirá, right? Recibirá o estará recibiendo. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Yo the, the translation. Creía, creía vagamente que solamente era para el pre presente. Simple. No, no, no. no, no. no. O, 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 o the continuous action, the present. No, 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 no. Sí, eh, exactly. The present continuous has to use Well, in fact, uh, The, the slide in this moment for the presentation is showing, is showing this. Actions in the present. Look, Evelyn. And actions for the future. Uh, most of all, we use the present continuous to make plans or, or, or for something that is going to happen, but not in the long future. It's in, in the short future. It's not, for example, I am uh, eating in two years. <laughs> Or I am visiting my friends in five years. No, you cannot say that. You can say tomorrow, next weekend, in the afternoon, uh, next Saturday. Understand? So two uses. Well, in fact, okay. in the in fact, Evelyn, there are other structures. For example, the simple present, uh, the the modal can, the modal could may, and other structures in English that you can use for the present and for the future. And one characteristic example is the present continuum, right? We're going to see the example. But let me see. Por aquí sigo recibiendo mensajes. <laughs> ya no me manden porque si no ya no me voy a poder dar la clase. Vamos a ver. María dice, teacher, quería... Uh, okay. No problem. No problem, eh, María. It's okay, I understand. Perfect. <laughs> okay. And then we have uh, William, right? William Antonio, ya se conectó. Hello, William. Dice, tengo problemas de conexión. 
por la fuerte, ¿va? pero igual, si puede por lo menos escuchar. Aquí estamos, ¿verdad, eh, William? Solo déjeme notar la asistencia. Aquí estamos. Ya lo voy a poner de oyente para mientras, porque está lloviendo fuerte en San Michael. Ok. No, let me see. Hoy sí entramos en materia. Good. Now let's start. Look. The present continuous is used for actions in the present and for action in the future. For example, some expression like right now, this year, this week, this moment, indicates that the action is happening in the present, right? For example, are you watching TV right now? In this moment, are you watching TV? Yes? No, right? No, you're having English class. I'm not studying English this year, right? This year is a period of time in the present. This year, right? She's working at home this week, right? Is 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 a a present action, right? I can say, for example, uh, Jonathan, Jonathan, uh, Delia, and Ada. Mm -hmm. Jonathan, Delia, and Ada are working in in Graph Depot, right? Yes, it's true. <laughs> Yes, they are working for, the, for this in this year. So 2023 is this year, right? It's present. Mm -hmm. But then when I say I'm buying shoes tomorrow, is for something that is going to happen in the future, right? But this future, I say, is not long future, right? It's, it's a short uh, future, right? Mm -hmm. They're cleaning the house this weekend. Not today, Tuesday, Saturday and Sunday, right? Mm -hmm. Is the future. Not today, the future. Janet's, Janet's meeting deal at 5 p.m. this afternoon. So this is future, right? In this moment, it's early. Early. But later, at 5 o'clock this afternoon, Janet's meeting deal, right? Later. And then we can say we are we are practicing English at nine o'clock, right? <laughs> we are we are practicing English, right? At nine o'clock. This moment is eight thirty-six. But later, in some minutes, we are going to practice English. We're practicing English, right? Okay, so this is the use of the present continuum for the present and the past and the future, right? Now, please, repeat after me. Are you watching TV right now? I'm not studying English this year. She's working at home this week. Okay, please, only you, Adam, read. Read the sentence here, please. Uh, no, no. Yes, please. Are you watching TV? Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Are you watching TV right now? I am not studying English this year. She's girl and home this week. Okie dokie. Zero. Working, right? Working at home. Working at home. Thank no, no, that's okay, Ada. Enough. Enough. Good. It's enough. No more, right? Now, future plans. Repeat, everybody, all the class. Repeat after me. I'm, mm, I'm buying shoes tomorrow. They're cleaning the house this weekend. There. Don't say there. No, no, no. It's there. They're cleaning the house this weekend. Not today. Not today. 
Janet's meeting bill. At five o'clock this afternoon. Janice meaning bill at five o'clock this afternoon. Okay. Delia, please, can you read these sentences for the class? Uh, futures plans. I am buying shoes tomorrow. They're cleaning the house this weekend, not today. Janet's meeting bill at five this afternoon. Okie dokie. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, let's practice, right? He says, present continuous for future. Listen, future, no present. Future events. Write statements and questions, right? Write statements and questions. The first one, right? It says, I take the chuson to work tomorrow. Uh-huh. So the verb to be, right? I, I is, no. Oh, I are. I am. I am. I am. Right. I am. Then take the bus, right? Taking the bus. Ah, okay. Like this? Taking the bus? No. No, right? Oh, you no. eliminate the E. Oh. And then you add ING. Taking the bus to work. 42. <laughs> 42, 44. The word tomorrow, right? Yes. Tomorrow, right? Good. En San Miguel, Erenia, ¿cuál es el bus más criminal que hay? <ríe> Erenia. Si nos copia, ¿verdad? Si la lluvia la permite. No hay buses locos ahí en San Miguel. Bueno, no, no conozco yo en la ruta urbana. ¿verdad? Ok, en San Salvador, ¿qué es? I'm taking the bus to work tomorrow. You see? Ok, now. Next one, right? They visit the relative this weekend. Ah, it's a question. Look. Good. Now, uh, Elsa, can you help me with this question, please? Only Elsa. Okay. okay. Are they? Are they correct? Because it's a question, right? Are they? Visiting. Visiting. ING, right? Visiting. Visiting the relative this weekend. Ah, me le están dando copia. Ajá. Ajá, Delia. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no problem, Delia. Don't worry. Right? Okay. Are they visiting? Ajá, Elsa. Their relatives their? this week. Ajá. Their Repeat. relatives. Their, correct. Okay, listen. The word their... There and there, it has the same pronunciation, right? There is ellos son, right? There allí, y there su de ellos, right? So there. Are they visiting the relative this weekend? Okie dokie, very good. Congratulations. Applausos, applausos. Nice, Elsa. Congratulations. Okay. Now, number three. Teacher. Uh-huh, Jonathan. In, in the verse is to T. No, no. No, no. I will copy the rule. Wait. Okay. I will copy the rule, right? The rule says... Consonant, vowel, consonant, right? For example, the verb cut. Cut, the C is a consonant. 
the U is a vowel and the T is a, is a consonant. So for that reason, we say T, T, I-N-G, right? Other example, drop. The D-R is considered only one consonant, one vowel, and one consonant. So two consonants, one vowel, right? So P-P, I-N-G. Dropping, right? But B sit. B sit. Ah, I. I, two vowels. Tiene dos vocales, right? No, no aplica, Jonathan. Buena pregunta, pero no, no aplica. Hay una regla especial ahí. Uh, pero no se la enseño porque son como unos cinco, seis o siete verbos. Eh, con el verbo transmit que tiene dos sílabas, trans, mit, y la fuerza del, de voz o la, el, el stress, trans, transmit, lo lleva en la segunda sílaba. Normalmente los verbos la llevan en la primera, pero esto lo lleva en la segunda. Ahí se dobla la T, transmit, ¿verdad? pero es, uh, es una super duper excepción, ¿verdad? así que no la vamos a tomar en cuenta para no confundirlos. Tal vez cuando estén avanzados, pues... <risa> Ya pueden eh, ver esa regla. Pero de momento, so, veamos tres reglas nada más. ¿Ok? So, Jonathan, do you understand? Sí, sí, teacher. Yeah, yes. Ok, ok. <laughs> Let's continue with the next one. Right after Elsa, we have in the list, eh, Erenia. From San Salvador to San Miguel, we ask Erenia. Miss Pereira de Cisnero. Ok, good. Vamos a ver. Evelyn, ¿podría participar, Evelyn? Yes, teacher. Okie dokie. Uh, uh -huh. It's a question. Are, a you, question. Uh -huh. okay. are, you? are you Are you going to shopping on Friday? Are you going to shopping? Going to shopping? Oh, to shopping or shopping, Evelyn? Um, shopping on Friday. Yes, correct. Shopping on Friday, right? Thank you. Thank you very much. So, are you going shopping on Friday? Remember, shopping is not a verb, right? Is not a verb. It's an action, right? For that reason, we call this a gerund. A esta figura se le llama gerundio, gerund, right? Okay, but it's not a, you don't say, eh, irás tú comprando, no, 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 irás de compras, o al comprado, right, shopping, so this is not a verb, I repeat, shopping is not a verb, and in this context, of course, right, for example, I can say, I am shopping, that's no problem, but in this case, you say, are you going shopping, like also you can say, Are you going swimming? Are you going riding a horse? Are you going skiing? Etc, etc. So shopping in this case, I repeat, is not a verb. Para que no se me confundan, no es un verbo, right? Okie dokie. Now let's go to the number four. This is for, let me see. Ingrid, Marisol, Mar y Sol. Ah, beautiful. I like it. Yes. Ingrid. ¿Quién le puso así? Ingrid, su mami o su papi? Marisol. Mi, my father. Your father. Ah, oh, nice. I like it. Look, Mar y Sol. Ah, Marisol. <laughs> okay, Ingrid. Help me, please, with number four. By the way, he said dad, eh? my father. Eh? <laughs> that late. Uh, dad. That late. No, no. The, the verb to be. Remember, Ingrid? The verb to be in present continuum, right? What is the verb to be for that? Are, am, um, or is? That. Is. Is correct. My dad is. That is. Lay. No, no, no. The verb. What is the verb, Ingrid? 
What is the action? Late is an adjective. Tarde, right? Tarde, no. Yo tarde, tu tarde. No, 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 no. It's not a verb. Come. Come. Very good. Come. Come what happened come. in... Okay, wait. What happened when the present continues with the verb come? Is correct to say coming. Co coming or I have to eliminate the E, Ingrid? Eliminate E. Elimination day, right. Okay, that is coming. Coming home. Live. Late. This evening. This evening, Late. right. Esta noche, esta noche, esta noche, tarde noche. Okay, that is coming home late this evening. Oh. Viene tarde mi papi, right? Okay, good. Yes. Todos nos poníamos, todos los hermanitos a esperar a los papás, ¿verdad, Ingrid? <laughs> Después del trabajo. <laughs> I remember. Yes. Okay. yes, so that is coming home late. That is coming late home. No, no, coming home late, that's it, right? Okay, now, number five. Is it number five on the right? Yes. After Ingrid, I have uh, Jonathan. Hello, Jonathan. This is negative, Jonathan. Negative for the future, right? Okay, let me see. Okay. I am. Uh huh. I, I am. am. Wait, wait, wait. Give me a second. I am. I am not clean. Cleaning. Clean, right? Jonathan, is NN? Yes or no? Um, Only one N or two N's? One. One. Because two vowels, porque hay dos vocales. ¿ver? Si hubiera una sola vocal, entonces sí, ¿verdad? Es, pero son dos, así que no aplica la regla. Yes. Cleaning. I am not cleaning the house tomorrow. The house tomorrow. No, oh, please. Siempre, todos los días hay que limpiar la casa. ¿va? No, no seamos así, por favor. I remember, right? Me acuerda una llamada telefónica de unos bromistas que... Disculpe. ¿Aló? ¿Aló? Sí, disculpe. ¿Lavan ropa ahí? No. Uy, qué sucios. Ok. <laughs> So, you can say, listen, Jonathan, I'm not. Or you can say, I am not, right? The two are correct, Jonathan. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Jonathan, claps from Dudley. Congratulations, Jonathan. Very nice. Good, class. Now, notice that the expression tomorrow, this weekend... Friday, on Friday, you know, this evening and tomorrow are all the expressions that refer for the future. So if you notice, you say, uh, when I will know that is for the future or for the present, right? ¿Cómo saber si la oración se refiere al presente o al futuro? Easy. Because when you refer to the future, we always have an expression or time expression for the future. Next week, next Saturday, tomorrow, tomorrow morning, this evening, tonight, etc., etc., right? It is the, the characteristic. Very good. Ingrid Oyente, okay. Y Carlos, no, Carlos. Ah, Francisco, sorry, Francisco, ya puede participar. Thank you, Francisco. Ingrid, pues, a descansar un ratito, <ríe> a descansar. Ok. Good. Now let's continue, right? I will ask uh, Kenya, please, can you read the sentences for the class? Kenya, read, please. Me escuchan. Yes, sí. yes, yes. I am 
talking, taking the bus to eh, work tomorrow. Genia, taking. Ah, Take, taking. Taking, yes. Repeat, Genia. I am taking the bus tomorrow. Me escuchan, teacher. Yes, yes. Yes. I am taking the bus to work tomorrow. Are they visiting their relatives this weekend? Uh, their relatives. Their relatives, Kenya. Their relatives. Yes. Are they visit their relatives this weekend? Uh, no, no, sorry. Their, their relatives. Their, no. Their? Yes. Their relatives. Así. Oh. Yeah. Are they visiting their relatives this weekend? No, their, no. Their. Their. Relatives. Are they visiting their relatives this weekend? Are you going shopping on Friday? Intonation, intonation, Kenya. Are they... Are you going... Are you going shopping? Shopping? Are, are you going shopping on Friday? That is coming home late this evening. Evening, perdón. I am not cleaning the house tomorrow. Congratulations. Genia. Very nice pronunciation. Yes. Thank you. Okay, very good. Let's continue. Oh, I have more communication here. Ya puedo participar, Brenda. Okay, Brenda, nice. Excelente uso. Ya tenemos un nuevo participante, right? Okay. Good. Let's continue. Let's continue. Let me erase this. Okay. Now continue, right? Ah, more sentences. Yes. Nice. I like it. Uh, after Kenya, I have Maria. Maria, can you help me with sentence number six, please? Remember, okay. this is for future, only future. Okay. Are they? Maria, it's not a question, but you can make it like, pero podemos hacerlo pregunta, no hay problema. Yes. Oh, okay. are, are oh, they? Sorry, sorry. No, no, that's okay. I mean, si quiere que sea pregunta, lo hacemos. Aquí no. ¿Qué ustedes mandan? Are they going oh, oh, for dinner tonight? Tonight. 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 Very good. So he says, Are you, the, oh, no, sorry, are they going out for dinner tonight? Excelento. So, yes, yeah, that's nice, right? Uh, the rain come here. Uh, this is Moises. Oh, sorry, Moises. It's raining. In... Where are you, Moises? In Lourdes. No. A Popa City. A Popa. Ah, a po so maybe it's coming from Mexicanos too, because a Popa is next to Mexicanos. Yes. Pues oh, oh, ya la vida vale un poquito aquí. Antes era a popa donde la vida no valía nada, pero hoy ya vale ah, poquito. Ya vale como un, <laughs> una cuadra, por lo menos. <laughs> okay. Vamos bien. <laughs> okay. Very good. Very good, Moisés. Ok, now let's continue, right? Next one. Uh, no, ¿qué hice? Perdón. Vamos a ver, a ver aquí la cosa. <laughs> ok, number seven, right? Number seven. Eh, after María, we have María René. This is a question, yes. Ready, are Maria? Your classmates? Are your classmates taking the bus to the game? 
taking the bus to the game, the choose on to the game. Nice. Congratulations, right? Let's continue. Number eight. Uh, Mateo, please, can you help me with number eight? Uh, yes, she is. She is. No, a es second, pregunta, perdón. Sería, ah, is, is she? Is she, right? Correct. Is she playing soccer in the park on Sunday? Soccer in the park on Sunday. Good. Very good. Moisés, el pronóstico del tiempo nos dice que ya está en su pero, delgado. Eh, la lluvia no, ya está. No soy, soy Torres, no Urbina, teacher. Mois ah, yes, Moisés. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a coincidence, right? Eh, permítame. Mateo, ¿verdad? Mateo. Perdón, Mateo vive en su delgado, entonces dice que ya está la lluvia por allá. Ya viene yes. para mexicanos también. It's raining, ciudad delgado, delgado city. Ok, thank you, Mateo. Now, let's go to the next one. Number nine, right? Number nine is for Moisés. It's a coincidence, right, Moisés? Now, let's okay. do it, boy. You can do it, you can do it. Uh, are they... Are they... Or uh, Sally and Mike, we can copy the. the... Okay. Uh -huh. we'll Are Sally, Sally and, Mark. and Mark? You can say uh, they, no problem, but let's use the name. Are okay. Sally and Mark going dancing afterward? Are Sally and Mark going dancing after work? Yeah. Yes. Moises, a yeah. question. Dancing in this context. Is a verb, yes or no? No, it's an action. Is it's it's action? Not, no, it's not an action. It's a noun. It's a nombre. A noun. It's right? nom that dancing. Dancing. Yes, in this context, I repeat. In other contexts, maybe right. You can say, uh, "I am dancing." Oh, uh, sorry. Give me a second. Uh, Moisés, uh, acaba de. La luz bajarse un poquito acá. Si se va la luz, me esperan, ¿ok? okay. Please, <risa> con café. Sí. Con café. <risa> sí. Le toman el cafecito y me esperan porque <risa> se va la luz. <risa> ok, Moisés. Uh, le voy a traducir para que vea que dancing no es un verbo, sino que es un nombre. Eh, Sally y Mark irán a la bailada. ¿ah? A la bailada después de trabajo. Después de trabajo. Ajá. For example, dancing in this case is, an, is a name of one activity, like swimming, dancing, <laughs> exercising, you know. But you can also say uh, in another context, pero también podemos, oh, oh, podemos usar en otro contexto. Por ejemplo, puedo decir así, mire. Are you dancing tonight? Are you dancing tonight? Ajá. Es, Entonces, a, tú... a, uh -huh. aquí dancing sí sería un verbo. Pero y, acá, y por... aquí está como, a, como, a, como un nombre de una actividad, ¿yes? Y, y por ejemplo, teacher, eh, de, de Reina Danzante, que es eh, Dancing Queen, eh, ese es como, como verbo, Reina Danzante o, o... No, en este caso, Dancing es un adjetivo. Yeah, I will copy. Eh... Le, voy a dar, le voy a dar algunos ejemplos acá para usted y para la clase. Si sí, ya viene con toda la lluvia acá. Ya empezó a llover. Así que si me, se me va la luz o el internet, me esperan, chicos, me esperan. <ríe> ok. Eh, the ING words. Ok, las palabras que llevan ING, right, tienen tres usos. Number one, as verb, right, como verbos. Verbs. For example, the present continuous is one example, right? You say, I am working. So working is a verb, it's an action, right? Yes. Number two. As adjectives. 
Sí, creo que se va a ir la luz. Siempre se va a la luz cuando comienzan estas tormentas. Adjectives. For example, eh, let's go let's go to the swimming pool. Let's go to the swimming pool. Oh, other example, she is a dancing queen. Dancing queen. Okay, from Ava, right? So in this case, swimming and dancing are not verbs, no action. They are adjectives. Adjectives, because... ¿Qué es lo que están calificando? Están calificando a la piscina y a la reina, right? Swimming pool. Es, no es cualquier clase de, de piscina, ¿verdad? Es una piscina para nadar. Hay otras para solo estar ahí. <ríe> Son muy chiquitas, solo está uno ahí metido. Ok, pero ese es para nadar específicamente. Es ¿eh? swimming pool. Eh, que tienen cositas en medio para que uno no se pierda, ¿verdad? Ok. Y Dancing Queen es la reina que baila, ¿no? Dancing Queen. Yes. It's, it's an adjective, right? Good. And the last one is as noun, right? Nouns, como nombres. For example, eh, she likes swimming. She likes swimming, right? A ella le gusta el nadado, la natación le gusta, yes? So, swimming is a noun. Other example is eh, eating pupusas is a nice activity. Right? Eating is not a An adjective is not a verb, it's a noun, it's a number, right? Eating pupusa, right? Okay? Okay. Do you understand, Moises? Ready, ready. I understand. Cool. Excellent. Excellent. Thank so, you. Thank you. No problem, no problem. Ah, oh, se fue la luz. Hello, hello? Hello, hello, do you copy? Can you hear me? Delia, yes, Delia? Oh, okay, yes. thank you, thank you, Kenya. Sorry, eh, as I told you, right? Como, tal y como les dije, se ve la luz. Eh, ahorita estoy usando mis datos de, de mi celular. Ah, pero ya vino la, ya regresó la internet. Yes. Let me see. Delia, can you hear me? Hello, hello. Okay. Okay, sorry again. This is like this, right? Hello audio. again, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's like this, right? Se va, se viene. <laughs> okay. Uh, now let's continue, right? I will continue sharing the the presentation. Okay, I will copy for you again. Give me some second, right? 
Are they going out for dinner tonight? And number seven. Are your classmates taking the bus to the game? Number eight. Is she playing soccer in the park? on Sunday. Good. And the one from Moises, right? Moises says, are Sally and Mark going dancing after work? Right? Yes. Now, Let's go to the next center, right? Number 10. This is This is after Moises. We have uh, Wilmer. Hello Wilmer, are you ready? Do you copy Wilmer? No, okay, so Ada, please, do you copy Ada? Ada? Yes, yes. Okay, good. Let's do it together, Ada. I will help you. Number one is not a question. It's not a question, it's a sentence, right? Okay, let's begin, Ada. Uh, what is the subject? Question. No es pregunta. No, no, no. Uh, sería... Mm. Vale, le voy a ayudar. Hay, hay, dos, sujetos. hay dos sujetos. Ajá. ¿Cuál sería el primer sujeto? Vamos a ver. Hay. Hay, ajá, hay. 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 I am... No, no, güey. Le falta un sujeto. Le falta un sujeto. I. En. Uh, I. I am. Wash. No, no, no. Falta un sujeto ahí. Pero. No sé cuál. ¿Cuál sería el otro sujeto? I en. Okay, vamos a ayudarle entonces. I and my husband, right? I am hub. My? My. Husband. My hub. Husband. Uh -huh. Was the dish. What, what is the verb? Am, was are, the... or is? Are. Are, correct. Sería, bueno, soy feo. Yo voy a decir mi esposa porque soy muy feo. <risa> ok. Mi esposa y yo somos o estamos, right? Uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. Usted diga esposo y yo voy a decir esposa. <risa> ok. okay. <risa> I and my husband are. Are wash the dishes. Washing the dishes. Washing the dishes. The dive after tomorrow. Dishes. The day after tomorrow. Pasado mañana, right? The day after tomorrow. Ok, está un poco difícil, eh, Ada, porque aparece dos veces watch the dishes, ¿verdad? Hay un error de dedos. No, sorry. es que por eso, por eso estaba confundida, porque I'm me sorry. decía el otro... El otro. I'm uh -huh, sorry, okay, but the sentence is correct. The sentence is correct. Congratulations. Yes, okay. it's nice. Okay. Uh -huh. 
I and my husband are washing the dishes the day after tomorrow, right? Okay, thank you very much, Ada. Now, uh, Brenda Lee, can you read the sentences for the class, please? Okay. Are they going out for dinner tonight? Like a question. Are they going out for dinner tonight? Uh, okay. Are they going out for dinner tonight? Are you classmates? Taking the, bu the bus to the game? Is she playing soccer in the park on Sunday? Are Sally and Mark going dancing after work? I and my husband are washing the dishes the day after tomorrow. My goodness, good reading, right? Excelentoso, Brenda Lee. Now, let's continue, right? I guess we finished, right? We finished. Yes. Ta -da! So this is the use of the present continuous for the present and the present continuous for the future, right? Okay, good. Uh, let me see. Okay, good. Let's continue. Right now, let's go to the uh, exercise in the manual. I will share with you the manual. Here, right? Look, page number 30. How to use present continuous for future events. Notice, please. It says, we use present continuous to talk about arrangement for events at a time later than now, right? Means uh, arreglos or planes para más tarde, you know? And it's the same... Um, it's the same right here. Structure. I am meeting the in interns tomorrow. Tomorrow, right? What time is Maria interviewing the people? For the future, right? She's interviewing them at 5 o'clock, 5 p.m. I am writing the report next week. Nice. And I am sending, sending it as soon as you finish. Okay, now let's go to these sentences, please. Jose is receiving the new workers tomorrow, right? It's the sentence that Evelyn was selling, right? Now, I will give you time to finish this sentence, all right? I will give you three minutes. Three minutes, right? In the meantime, en lo que ustedes me hacen las oraciones, voy a pasar lista, ¿ok? Ready? Ok, Ada. Present, teacher. Brenda Lee. Present. Brenda. Present. Carlos. Carlos Carpio. Francisco. Present teacher. Yes, nice. Ya puede participar, ¿verdad, Francisco? Yes, teacher. Yes, excellent. Thank you, Francisco. Okay, Delia. Present teacher. Elsa. Present teacher. Enrique. Erenia. Evelyn. Present teacher. Freddy. Ingrid. Present teacher. ¿Ya puede participar, Ingrid? Sí, teacher, en unos okay. tres minutos. Ya puede. Ah, ok. Good. Eh, Jessica Araceli, me pone ahí en el chat, por favor, Jessica. Jonathan. Present. Kenia. Present. María. Present. María René. Mateo. Present. Moisés. 
Present teacher. Alexi. Wilfredo. William. Present. Ok, good. ¿Ya puede participar William o sigue de oyente? Yes, yes. Eh, participan, ok, good. Wilmer. Ok, let me see. Jessica Araceli, very good, present. And René Alexi, present, very good. Thank you, René Alexi. Thank you, Jessica Araceli. Ok, very good. Now let's do it together, right? Uh, according to the list. Uh, let me see. ¿Con quién nos quedamos? Con Brenda me ayudó, ¿verdad, Brenda? Yes? Okay, now. The next sentence is for Francisco. Francisco, ah, wait, wait a minute. Estaré de oyente un momento, María. Ok, María, no problem. María. Yes, good. Francisco, can you help me with the sentence number two, please? Teacher, yo no participé. Ah, Brenda. Sorry, Brenda. Ok, so, <laughs> sentence number two for you and sentence number three for Francisco, right? Ok, let's do it. Similar to the exercise we were making in the PowerPoint presentation, right? Similar. So, Brenda? Mark is? Mm, uh -huh. Mark is? Sending the letters? The letters? The letters? letters? The next week. The next week. Good. That's it, right? Now, uh, Francisco, please. Number three. Jane is working. Jane is working. On the reports tonight. Tonight. Thank you very much, Francisco. Thank you very much. Number four, right? Number four, after Francisco, we have Delia. Can you? Delia, ready? Uh, Walter is singing. The check signing. signing I, I don't know signing. how to say Fir sign. Firmar, and signing, signing. Signing. Walter is signing the checks today. Good, that's it, right? And number five. Mm -hmm. After Delia, we have Elsa. Marina. Uh huh, Marina. Is organizing the presentation in the afternoon. Okie dokie, nice. Marina is organizing the presentation in the afternoon. Okay, good. And to finish, number six. Right. Uh, let me see. Erenia. No, creo que Erenia se desconectó por la lluvia. Eh, Hola. Ah, Erenia. Erenia. Are you Erenia? Erenia. Erenia. Oh, hello. <laughs> ok, pensé que no había ido por la internet. Y mira, aquí se me fue también Erenia, la luz. Ajá. Okay. ¿Verdad? Eh, no puedo verla. Va, permítame. La oración. Ah, ¿Ahorita? Pero, ah, es que si Ahora no... Sí. sí, ok, va. Ok, ajá. Guillermo, going to the bank. No. 
Ajá. Guillermo. Sí. Is... Guillermo. Going to Japan tomorrow. Tomorrow. Uh -huh. Is going to the bank tomorrow. Ah. Guillermo is going to the bank tomorrow. Okay, thank you, Erenia. Now, eh, Evelyn, can you participate? Yes, teacher. Okay, can you read all the sentences for the class, please? All. From one, from one to six. Yes, please. Okay. Jose is receiving the new workers tomorrow. Mama! Mark is sending Mama. the letters the Mama. next week. Jane is working on the reports. Tonight, sorry, the error de dedo. <laughs> tonight, tonight. <laughs> Walter is signing, signing? the checks today. Signing? Pardon? Signing? S signing. Okay. Walter is signing the checks today. Marina is organizing the presentation in the afternoon. Guillermo is going to the bank tomorrow. Excellent also. Thank you, Evelyn. Okay, good. Class, any question? Very good. Sorry, I, I will... Me voy a desconectar de mi celular. Me voy a pasar al otro internet. Sorry. Si algo pasa, si algo malo pasa, me esperan. Hello, hello. ¿Me copian? Hello, do you hear? Moisés, do you copy? ¿Me copia, Moisés? Teacher, yes. Ah, okay, good. Claro. Excelentoso, yes. Ahí estamos ya con el internet de la casa, con todos los poderes. <laughs> ok. Good. Now we're going to go to the presentation for tonight. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the presentation for tonight. Inglés Corporativo, Insafor, and the teacher Javier Gomez say welcome to this class. Today is September 5th. This is the class number 12. Class number 12, right? And today we are going to compare the simple present versus the present continuous. The simple present versus the, the present continuous, right? For this, we have here the, the objective for tonight. This is the objective for tonight. Uh, can you help me? Mm, can you help me, Ingrid? Can you read the objective, Ingrid? Jonathan, can you read the objective, please? I will be able to... Jonathan? Okay, I will... I will... Be able? Be able to... Uh, this great ongoing activities accurately accurately regular uh, okay this accurate. Jonathan this word is difficult it's difficult to pronounce accurate is con seguridad accurate accurate e accurate. Ac accurately accurately is con Segu con seguridad o seguramente, ¿no? O con mucha confianza, ¿ok? Now, uh, accurately. Accurately. Excellent, yes. Continue. Unregular activities in the workplace. At the workplace. Very good. Now, let's continue. Who is the person to arrive? at your workplace. Uh, this question goes... Teacher. Yes? I have a question. Yes, Elsa? I forget what is the meaning ongoing. Ah, ongoing means uh, que se está llevando 
en el momento ongoing mm. que se está desarrollando, que es en este momento, por ejemplo, para decir eh, la clase de inglés se está llevando a cabo, this is an ongoing English class. Okay, okay teacher, is, gracias. This is an ongoing activity to have English class because in this moment, in this moment, we are making it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's continue. So who is the first person to arrive, to go, to come to your workplace? Uh, can you help me, please? Mm, Kenya? Who is the first person, Kenya, to arrive at your workplace? To arrive at Teacher. Uh, Curtis, Curtis Industrial. Teacher, what is arrive? Se me olvidó. Arribar, uh, llegar. Llegar, caer, pero, ah, pues sí. Caer, como decimos los salvadoreños. Um, <laughs> ¿Quién es el primero que cae <laughs> al trabajo? Yes, arriving. Aunque sea difícil de creer, I am. I am. Oh, very good. Ay. Pajarito madrugador. <laughs> okay, good. Sí. Now, and what is the first thing you do when you get to your work? Eh, no sé cómo dice la oración. Say, ah, what, what is the first activity you do when ah. you go to Curtis in the morning? Eh, check the reports. I, I? I check the reports. You check the reports. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. Now. Eh, María, ah no, María está de oyente ahorita, ¿verdad? Sí, sorry. Eh, María René, what about you, María René? What is the first activity you do when you go to your work? I prepare my breakfast. Uh -huh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. Number one, Maria Rene, you are very honest. Congratulations. It's true, right? And number two is, is correct. I mean, you go to your work. For example, in my work, I arrive at my work at 6 30. And from 6 30 to 7, I have my breakfast too, right? I'm not working. My I have to go to my work at 7 o'clock. And I arrive at 6.30, I have time to eat my platanito, huevito, cafecito, right? Breakfast. So, Maria Rene, congratulations. <laughs> Where first do activity. you work? Where in do a school. you work in the morning? I work in a school, in a public school. Uh -huh. yeah, so, Near your house. No. I live in Mexicanos and I work in Soyapango. Hasta acá. Yes, I have to travel to Soyapango, but it's, it's uh, three blocks from the Alcaldía de Soyapango, right? Tres cuadras antes de llegar a la Alcaldía. Uh, it's, not, it's not very far. No, 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 no es tan lejos. Es céntrico, right? Yes, it's next, next to Aguas Calientes in Soyapango, so it's, it's nice. Good. Now, uh, so like Maria René, I have the time to, to have my breakfast before to start working. <laughs> Okay, good. Now, uh, Mateo, what is the first thing you do, Mateo, when you arrive to your workplace? I am checking my email. You check your emails. Oh, interesting, interesting, right? Okay, thank you, class. Now let's go to the vocabulary we use for this uh, it says team team is members of a group of people who work together also uh, is is a group with one specific uh, purpose even with sport for example uh, real madrid barcelona aila alianza uh, psg etc those are sports team Los Angeles Lakers, uh, members of a group who work for one specific purpose. Pick up. Pick up is not a car. Pick up is take or move something, right? Okay, that's pick up. Now, let's go to the conversation. Ryan. Ryan says, good afternoon, Raul. 
what are you doing right now? And Raul says, good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador? What is our team doing right now? Ah, oh, yes, it is. They are getting ready uh, for the conference in the meeting room. I see. Uh, what time do you usually get to your workplace? And what is the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30. Ah, like the teacher, like Maria Rene, right? 6.30 a.m., right? And the first thing I do is to have breakfast. I don't know. <laughs> the first thing I do is to check my emails. And you? In good Salvadorian, when you say, and you is Yvonne, Yvonne, right? And you? <laughs> and then he says, Ryan says, well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Okay, class, now ready to pronounce? Repeat after me, please. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I'm planning a video conference. Oh. Oh. The conference with the new team in San Salvador? What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. Welcome, Wilfredo. Welcome. Good night, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. No, but for him, it's good night. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. It's okay. Thank you, teacher. Good, good. Now, everybody, repeat, please. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What time do you usually get to your workplace? What is the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Now again, but this time faster, right? Faster. Ready? Okay, repeat after me, please. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador? 
what is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. My first activity is to eat some dinosaurs. Yum, yum, yum. Hey, no. Yum, yum, yum. Okay. So what are the first activities you do at your work? Now. But let's practice the pronunciation, right? Uh, we were working with Mateo, right? So uh, today we're going to start with Moises and William Antonio. Are you there, William Antonio? Yes. Yes, okay. Uh, I need you be Raul, right? And Moises is going to be Ryan. Can you participate, William? Yes. Yes, okie dokie. Now ready, Moises? Ready. One, two, three, action. Uh, good afternoon. Raul, what are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am playing a video conference. Oh, the conference with to the new team in San Salvador? What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually reply at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I um, do is to check my email and you. Well, I arrive at uh, 7 or 7.30. It depends on the traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Nice. Congratulations, Moises and, and William. So look at this. What are you doing? Doing, right? Doing. Doing, right? And arrive. 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 Thank you very much. Now, Wilfredo, please, can you help me? Yes. Now, Wilmer. Hello, Wilmer. Are you there, Wilmer? Okay. So, Ada. Ada is going to help me. Right. Uh, Wilfredo, you're Ryan. And Ada, you are... You are Raúl, right, Ada? Ready? Okay, Wilfredo, you begin. Ready? The microphone, Wilfredo, the microphone. Hey, it's, I'm sorry, teacher. No problem. Do it, do it, do it. Yeah. Good afternoon, Raúl. What are you doing right now? Ada? 
good afternoon, right? We are planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is your team doing right now? Our team. Our team. Our team? Yeah. Ada? Yes. Uh, it is they are get, get ready getting, for the company. Ada, getting... Getting ready for the conference in the um, meeting room. Meeting room. Meeting room. Meeting room. Wilfredo? Yeah, I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What the first thing you do? In reality, I. I I usually, I usually, I usually arrive it and sit sit thirty a.m. Good. And the I, I, wait, wait. I usually arrive at I usually arrive and sit thirty a.m. Six, six. And the friends, the first, the, the first thing, and the friends, they in do is to check in, check in me, my, me, my, Amy, my, me, my, Amy, my, Amy, and you. Well, I'll write a uh, seven. I arrive. I arrive. I arrive at seven or seven thirty. In the pants on traffic. It my it, fixed it, activity. Sorry, Wilfredo. It depends. It depends. It depends on traffic. It depends on traffic. This. In traffic. My first, my, first my first activity is, is sorry, teacher. Is to pick up. My first activity is to pick up the letter. To pick up the letter. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. This for me is very difficult. With the uh, telephone, teacher, you are because... with the telephone, right? Yes, yes, but, but I. My, I know no, no wise better. Ah, okay, sorry. You need the glasses. Yes, I need the brother. computer. Yes. Ah, yes, yes. yes. I, I need the glass, but yes, but I need the glass, but the the leather is very, very difficult for me. When I am with my telephone, for me it's very difficult to, yes. to see. Right, yes. but in the in my computer, is big. So I can see too. Yes. Yes. Yes, but tomorrow I, I tomorrow need the you're, computer. You're in the computer, right? Yes. Good. No problem. No problem. Yes. Thank okay, you. class. Thank you, no problem. Uh, class, do you have any question? Okay, let's continue. So who gets earlier at the workplace? Class? Volunteer, please. Raul. Raul is no arriving. No. Kenya is. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. No, Raul, right? Raul, yes, Raul. Raul. And, and what is the topic Raul and his team are discussing? What is the topic? Getting, getting ready for the conference. Getting ready for the conference, right? Okay, very good. Now let's continue, let's continue, right? Now, ladies and gentlemen, listen to me, please. This is one of the most difficult topics in English, right? This is one of the most difficult topics in English. But please, I will beg you a big favor. Le voy a pedir un gran favor. Yes. Please. 
eh, cuando usamos el presente simple versus el presente continu continuo, hay confusiones, nos confundimos. Because, eh, cuando usamos el do, cuando usamos el is, cuando usamos el playing, cuando usamos el play, cuando usamos el place, etcétera, etcétera, right? It's very confusing. Este tema es muy, muy, muy confuso. Yes? So pay attention. To the antenna, right? La antenita es todo así. <laughs> okay? Ding! Right? Yes. And please, I beg you, les ruego por favor, si no entienden, deténganme. Si quieren más ejemplo, vemos más ejemplo. La cosa es, entre hoy y mañana tenemos que entender esto. Yes? Y no solo entenderlo, sino que practicarlo. Okay? Let's do it. Here I am to help, right? Yes, do it. Now, good, the simple present. Listen, we use the simple present, pay attention, to describe habitual actions. Habitual actions or common or repetitive or routinary, routine, you know, routine activities uh, in your life. Look, describe habitual actions right also when you use the simple present you can use frequency adverbs or expressions that indicate frequency for example i take a shower every day right i take a shower every day so i will make this question levanten la mano los que se bañan levanten la mano los que se bañan los que se bañan solo los domingos quiero ver quiénes son Okay. Ah, Wilfredo, okay. Only Sunday, Wilfredo. Solo domingos, okay. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Some broma. Two showers per day, teacher. In the morning and the night. <laughs> okay, very good. So, Wilfredo, this is a routinary, routinary, habitual uh, activity, right? Take a shower. Take a shower is a routine. So, we describe routines with the simple present, right? And we use frequency adverbs like always, sometimes, never, uh, usually, right? Or expression like every day, every Saturday, twice a day. O como Wilfredo que se baña cinco veces al día, right? Five times a day. Yeah. Con este calor es y se lo acepto, Wilfredo. Yeah. Yes. No, but other example, teacher, is when the people say the, oh, I can say the, I, I brush the thing every day. Yes, excellent. Three, yes, it's three true. Is is frequency? Okay. It's a routine, right? So routines okay. or habitual actions are described with the simple present. For example. I cook dinner every day, yeah. right? And I never eat eggs for breakfast. Me, yes, I love the eggs for the breakfast, but it says yes. no, right? For now, me. look at this. And normally, normally, the verb have, want, need, like. Yo le agregaría dos más aquí, le vamos a agregar dos más. It. Love and hate, amar y odiar, right? Yes. Yes. We don't use them in the present continuous. Estos cuatro verbos, hay más, ¿verdad? Pero solo vamos a practicar estos cuatro. No se usan con el presente, no, perdón, con el presente continuo, right? No se usa. Okay. I have a house, you say. Yo tengo una casa, I have a house. No es, yo estoy teniendo por pedacitos la casa, ¿no? Una puerta, una ventana. No, no. ¿Tiene o no tiene? Right? I have a car. Yo tengo un carro. I have a computer. You have. No, having. I am having. I am having a computer. <laughs> no, no, no. I have. Only simple press. Understand? Only simple. I want. I want a coffee. Right? But no, I want it. No, poquito a poquito estoy queriendo. <laughs> no, no, no. O quiere o no quiere. Punto. Right? Quiere o no quiere. Yes. Simple present. I want. No, I want it. No. I needing. No, it's I need. O necesita o no necesita. O le gusta. 
o no le gusta. Me gusta, pero me asusta. <laughs> okay. O le gusta o no le gusta. Simple, right? Simple present. Understand? So have yeah. one Teacher, need uh, and like. Uh, have one need and like. Only simple present, right? Uh, please, uh, Delia. Cuando uno dice, I'm having a good time. Having a good correct. time. It's an expression. It's an expression. Yes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's correct. Yes, it's correct. Okay. Okay. But I repeat, right? But, uh, but it's expression. Uh -huh. Yeah, but listen, it's possible. Delia, es posible usar el, el, el having con presente continuo. Se puede. Pero normalmente y gramaticalmente, estrictamente gramaticalmente hablando, no. Yes. No. Yes. Okay, good. Entonces vamos a tener esto en mente para este, este tema. Yes, okay. Now, the present continuous. When do you use the present continuous? For actions in progress, ongoing or progressive action. We are making dinner in this moment, right now. We are making dinner, right? She is studying English this year, right? So it's a progressive action, okay? Good. So again, simple present, habitual or routinary events. Present continuous, progressive yeah. event, right? Routines, progressive. Okay, good. Let's continue. Good. Now, this is the question. Simple present or present continuous, right? What is the correct? Simple present or present continuous. We're going to listen, uh, we're going to watch some clues. Por favor, presten atención a ciertos detallitos de cada oración que nos va a ir indicando si es presente simple o presente continuo, ¿ok? Good. Number one. Who eats lunch or who is eating lunch? What do you think? Volunteers, please. For me, who, who is eating? Eating. Why? Eating. Why? Eating. Why? Why? Because say okay. right now. Right now. Okay. The expression right now indicates progressive, no routinary, no routine, right? So in this context, we say who is eating. Congratulations, yes. Number two, where he usually lunch at home or at the office? Simple present or present continuous? Simple present. Why? Why? Uh, at home it's or the No, 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 es, 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 es okay, frequently. Because uh, usually. Usually. It's usually or frequently. Every yes. time you say usually is frequency. Frequency yes. for, for that reason is simple simply present. present. Yes. yes. Right. So it's a day where where it where do does that right? Remember in the simple does, present we don't say is does, that no no no. Das. No. A, das. Aquí es donde entramos en confusión, porque ustedes van a estar pronto. Bueno, ¿cuándo es? ¿Cuándo se usa do? ¿Cuándo se usa das? ¿Cuándo es das? Sí, ¿Cuándo es don't? ¿Cuándo es aren? ¿Cuándo es isen? Right? Se mezclan sí. ahí los dos temas. Así que con cuidadito, vamos a ir. Ya solo nos quedan unos cinco minutitos, pero terminemos esto. Where ¿no? does he? Where does he usually? Mm -hmm. It. Eat it or eat with S? Eat, eat, eat. Only eat. Only eat, right? Because we use the auxiliary does. Remember? Yes. Every yes, time I we use the auxiliary that. does, the verb is normal. It's Number hard. three. Number three. They don't like. Simple Why? present. Why? Because. Porque no lleva. Um, es algo habitual. Why? Why? Que no, no tiene una expresión de, de, de progreso ni de. Es this okay. moment. 
Remember I said, right? Recuerden que les dije que habían cuatro verbos. Dije, want, uh, like, like, is, like, and, and like, and like, and like, ok. Yes. Normalmente hay excepciones, ya dijeron una por ahí, hay excepciones, pero normalmente estos verbos no los vamos a encontrar en el presente continuo, solo en el presente simple. Y aquí tenemos el verbo like. Entonces, they don't, don't like. They don't like a lot of sugar in that, tea, right? Number four. We are cleaning or we clean? We, Moises. We uh, cleaning, teacher. We cleaning. We are cleaning. Sí, cleaning. Yes, cleaning. Present continuous. Why? Why? Because ¿Por qué? every day. Ah, pero every day que indica que lo estamos haciendo It's ahorita the, o frecuencia. Frecuencia. Frequency, usually, right? Usually, usually or frequently. Uh -huh. Ajá. Yes. So, Ingrid, we clean. Kenya, 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 please, Kenya. We are cleaning or we clean? We clean. We clean, correct. Simple <coughs> present, right? Because every day. Every, every day, right? Okay, number five. Elaine and Joe aren't here. No están aquí, right? They drive to work. They are driving or they drive? They drive to work. They are driving Why? to work. Why? ¿Por qué, Delia? Porque es algo que están haciendo en ese momento. Yes, only in this progressive. Right? Ellos no están aquí en este momento. Deberían estarlo, porque usualmente aquí están, pero no, ahorita no, en este momento andan manejando. So, for that reason we say, they are driving. Ok, so let's continue tomorrow. Sigamos mañana con este tema, yes. Pero, ¿qué les está pareciendo? It's Confu good. Confuso. Confuso, confuso. confuso. Yes. Sí. Ah, confuso, confuso. <ríe> sí, confuso. Es, muy, es muy confuso, sí, es muy confuso. Así que, por favor, eh, teacher, pequeños but detalles. The ING. ING, ajá. Uh -huh. ING is, is for the simple when the future. No, well. No. No, no, ok, wait. Eh, Wilfredo, como entró un poquito tarde, hoy describimos yes. cómo usar el, el, los verbos con ING o presente continuo okay. right? en el presente right now y en el futuro ok, oh. it's ok I review, I need the review the class it's, it's, uh, tomorrow. Uh, tonight Wilfredo, I will send the powerpoint presentation so please yes. I need you check you check the powerpoint okay. presentation please thank you tonight. teacher uh -huh. mm -hmm. ah no sorry Wilfredo The presentation of yesterday. Quiero que me revise la presentación de ayer. Ahí está eso. Ok. Presente. Yes, It's please. Okay. Yes. Thank ok, you, very good. Uh, I take the attendance. Ya tomé la lista de todos. Eh, solo quisiera quedarme con Kenia. No sé si puede, Kenia. O oh, no nos hemos quedado todavía. El viernes nos quedamos, dicho. Excuse me, Kenia. Si ya me había dicho que sí, ¿verdad? Sí. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. Sorry. Okay. Yes. Es que cambié con Jonathan, por Ajá, eso Jonathan. Ah, sí es cierto, sí es cierto. Uh -huh. Yes, no problem, no problem. Entonces, eh, vamos a ver, ¿con Ada ya me quedé con Ada? No. No, ¿puede ahora Ada? Yes, yes. Yes, ok. Entonces, thank you very much, Ada. Ok, everybody, please. Goodbye. Thank you. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Okay, only Ada, please. Have a good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye, Evelyn. Bye, Enrique. Goodbye, Ingrid. See you tomorrow. Uh, Ada, every time I, I see, I say goodbye, my dog is ready because I, I, I take my dog for a walk. Eh, mi perrito está aquí a la par y cada vez que digo goodbye, él cree que ya terminé la clase. <ríe>
<risa> está que, pendiente, sí. Aquí está pendiente, ahí se lo voy a enseñar también. Aquí está Polar. Sí, es ahí está esperando que lo lleve a pasear. El paseo nocturno. Ok. Ay, ok, Ada. Eh, ¿Hay algún tema que quisiera que le explicara esta noche, Ada? Eh, eh, creo que lo estoy entendiendo básicamente bien. Okay. Lo que casi siempre me... me se me dificulta es la pronunciación. La pronunciación, sí, veo que, que del curso pasado, pero, pero mire, eh, yo le voy a ser honesto, Ada, ¿verdad? Le falta trabajar, pero ha mejorado muchísimo. Sí, al Ay. principio, al principio era palabrita por palabrita, ¿verdad? Pero hoy eh, veo que va avanzando, hasta hace las entonaciones cuando hace una pregunta, ya hace una pausa cuando usted ve una coma ahí y entonces vamos Ajá. mejorando. Pero este, yo le aconsejaría este, que su tiempo libre, bueno, yo sé que casi no tiene tiempo libre, pero este, los días viernes estoy mandando, bueno, este viernes no se los mandé, pero, pero anteriormente sí he mandado este, audiolibros, ¿sí? Ajá, yo no sí, sé si la vez sí. pasada le hice la misma recomendación, Ada. No me, no, no, me dijo de, de las películas. Me dijo. Ah, bueno, sí, las películas, sí, pero ajá, eso es película. para todo, eso es para todo. Pero, uh -huh. bueno, con las películas eh, quisiera que les pusiera de muñequitos, no de adultos, de muñequitos. <risa> ok. Sí, eh, okay. que les ponga el subtítulo en inglés y que a medida que usted uh -huh. vaya viendo la película, no vaya repitiendo todo, ¿verdad? Pero, pero los pedacitos ahí, ¿verdad? Pero uh -huh. no en la mente. Uh -huh sino que he hablado, sino que, ah, recuérdese que la boca, sí. uno a veces, por ejemplo, le dicen a usted, ¿verdad? El narizón de la narizonería. Usted lo entiende, ¿verdad? pero ya a la hora de decirlo, como que uno se traba. ¿verdad? Diga, el narizón de la narizonería. El narizón de la narizonería. <risa> no, no, pues, narizonería. Pero, pero su, no, no. Ajá, Ada, en su mente usted lo entiende. Yo no ajá, sé. eso me pasa eso a veces pasa cuando inglés, usted ajá. dice, ajá, eso me pasa es? a veces cuando usted dice que, que repitamos, yo sí. cuando lo repito en mi mente digo que lo, lo estoy bien. diciendo bien, pero, ajá, pero ya cuando me pone a, a participar, ya no me sale como yo ajá. pensé que lo había dicho. ¿eh? Pero entonces ahí ajá. es donde usted debe romper esa barrera, o sea, porque okay. ya sabe cómo se dice, usted ya sabe, pero la hora de pronto, uh -huh pronunciarlo en lo que le está costando, entonces sí. eh, haga eso, vea una película el fin de semana, ¿verdad? No necesariamente de un solo, por partes puede verla si quiere, ¿verdad? Una mitad uh -huh. el sábado uh -huh. y la otra mitad el domingo este, y póngale los subtítulos en inglés y vaya repitiendo sí. las expresiones, ¿verdad? No todo, pero al menos unas cosas ahí uh -huh. ok, y la otra es los audiobooks, los audiolibros, ¿verdad? Eh, okay. A medida que que el lector, si quiere le voy a mandar ahorita uno cuando terminemos, le voy a mandar uno a ver qué le parece. Okay. Eh, hay uno de Albert Einstein, muy, muy bonito también, hay uno de, hay varias novelas de Sherlock Holmes, de, sí, pero son lecturas bien fáciles, entonces usted va, le van leyendo, usted va escuchando y le van leyendo, entonces usted en lugar de escuchar vaya repitiendo también. Okay. Va, va leyendo uh -huh. ahí y usted va repitiendo uh -huh. si es uh -huh. posible póngale pausa o regréselo ¿verdad? Pero si usted no está segura uh -huh. y ahí va pronunciando ¿sí? Uh -huh. pero eh, sí. otra cosa que me he fijado eh, Ada es que cuando yo le digo cómo se pronuncia usted ya no le cuesta en cambio antes yo le decía ¿verdad? y usted lo volvía a decir mal le decía y lo volvía a decir ah, pero ahora está ah, mejorando, sí. está mejorando muchísimo, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Pero en la estructura gramatical yo veo que usted entiende. Sí, es que fíjese que desde, desde siempre, incluso, como le he dicho, empezaba y no continuaba. ¿va? Desde eh, siempre, eh, casi, o sea, yo como que el, sí lo, lo, lo entiende. ¿Cómo le digo? 
lo Ajá, entiendo. lo entiendo, incluso, incluso lo que a la, la, o sea, cuando lo están hablando, lo entiendo. Sí. Pero ya al hablarlo o pronunciarlo es lo que a mí me cuesta. Sí, sí lo entiendo, no, no se preocupe, okay. ¿verdad? Esto es de habilidades, hay habilidades para escuchar, para escribir, para platicar, para pronunciar. Porque usted lo uh -huh. puede platicar. Usted me dice las oraciones y yo le digo, eh, Ada, hágame esta oración. Y ya veo que usted la hace bien. Eso no veo ningún problema. Lo único uh -huh. es la pronunciación. Sí. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Ahí es donde. Sí, sí. Entonces, eso son ciertas habilidades, no se preocupe. Así me pasaba a mí. Yo leía de corrido inglés. <risa> Desde el <risa> principio no me costaba para nada. Pero ya, ya cuando escuchaba... <risa> No le entendía nada. Así es que empecé a escuchar canciones, ajá, aprenderme ajá. las canciones de memoria y ya mejoré, mejoré el escuchar, ¿verdad? Ajá. Usted va bien, ¿eh? estamos en el nivel básico, va bien con la escuchada, ahí no veo ningún problema, solo la pronunciación, ¿verdad? Ok, okay. Eh, ¿y qué le ha parecido las clases en este nivel 2? Más difíciles, más dinámicas, más aburridas, más prácticas que... ¿Cómo la, cómo la siente? Sí, siento que está un poquito, tal vez no difícil, sino que confus, confuso. De confuso. Algunos temas. <risa> sí. Ajá, de es, confuso, este confuso, tema que estamos viendo, temas. este tema que estamos viendo es bien confuso, porque sí, se mezcla sí. el presente simple con el presente continuo. Eh, pero mañana Ajá, yo le, voy a, le voy a hacer unos ejercicios, le voy a poner un dibujito y ustedes me van a decir, ¿verdad? Este. Este es presente continuo, este es presente simple. Y ahí vamos a aprender a distinguirlo okay. con las actividades que uh -huh. está haciendo una muchacha ahí en una foto, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y otros okay. ejercicios. Está bien. Ok, ¿alguna otra pregunta, Ada? Algo que, no. que quisiera que le explicáramos, uh -huh. algo que no le gusta o, o le gustaría que implementáramos en la clase, no sé. No, no, realmente no, no. a mí me gusta cómo da, cómo da su clase eh, y me gusta más hoy que todavía más par participativa. Eso sí, hoy, hoy lo estamos haciendo más práctico, ¿verdad? Más. Ajá. Sí. Así, de, así pero... descanso yo, solo ustedes están participando. Sí. Yo estoy... <risa> no, pero... Ajá, no, pero siento que es, muy... es mejor porque, o sea, a nosotros nos ayuda a desenvolvernos más, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, ahí porque le... los estamos practicando, no solo lo estamos viendo como normalmente lo hacen, que solo es el maestro nada más. Sí, en el, en el básico Pero... uno sí recuerde sí. que mucho vocabulario, ¿verdad? los números, el alfabeto, uh -huh. ya casi que solo uh -huh. yo hablaba, ¿verdad? Pero hoy sí. Ajá. Están Pero hoy es más. Ajá. Y le agradezco Capaz. mucho que usted, aunque algunos temas son difíciles, pero usted me participa bastante, así que. Thank you. <risa> Entre más me participan, mejor. Va. Ok. Bueno, Ada, entonces, see you tomorrow, right? God bless uh -huh. you. Bueno. Ok, bye bye. Good night. Good night. Bye bye.